First time in the historic church since March 6th. For Bishop Steve Wood, just setting foot inside this historic sanctuary is another huge step in his recovery from COVID-19. He was one of the earliest cases in the Lowcountry, and his condition deteriorated pretty quickly in early March. A clean x-ray one day, it was less than clean just three days later. COVID ravaged lungs, he says. His oxygen levels dropped, and he knew he was headed for a ventilator. I knew that was coming, and um, and I knew at that time, you know, I think we'd seen something on the national news that the ventilators were a 50-50 proposition at that time. It was a uh, um, anxiety-producing thought for me. Um, the biggest thing was the idea of giving control over my body to both doctors but also to a machine. Doctors were fantastic. They assured me that this is what was needed, that my lungs needed a break, that, that they were so distressed, my body needed a break, and that the machine would do the work for my body, and, um, and that they thought it would be a three to five day proposition, and um, turned out to be 10 days. The virus took its toll on Wood's body. He lost 36 pounds. He's still battling neuropathy, and says that there were times he questioned if he would make it. There were a couple days after coming off the ventilator when I, there were just some moments when um, I wasn't sure I was going to make it. Um, Even after the, after the ventilator? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It, I hurt. Um, you know, I thought this was a respiratory thing, but actually um, it does affect your whole body, and it affected my whole body. So I've never been in a car accident, but I felt like I was in a car accident. I mean, every part of my body hurt. That pain so severe, he passed out while at home, and that sent him back to the hospital where doctors subsequently found blood clots unrelated to him passing out that he's still treating today. And through it all, he credits his faith for his strength to fight. Because I think some people think of faith as a life insurance, that life might be bad now, but it'll be better when we get to heaven. And I don't think the faith is just endure this life until you get to heaven. I think the promise is we see the goodness of the Lord in this life now. And I've seen that. And so when folks ask me how I am, uh, my response is every day is a good day. Some days are better than others.